So let's talk about why you should always use purified bile salts if you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. What is SIBO? It's a situation where you have a good portion of your microbiome, your flora, your friendly bacteria in the wrong place. It's in the small intestine. It needs to be in the large intestine mostly. What happens when these microbes get up into the small intestine going backwards up through here, it creates a lot of problems because you get fermentation of fiber in the wrong places. So you're going to get a lot of bloating. Our, our small intestine is not designed to ferment fiber. So you get bloating, gas, and these microbes compete for nutrients. You're supposed to break down and digest a lot of the nutrients in the small intestine. Well, if there's bacteria in there that's competing for the food, you're going to have a lot of nutritional deficiencies. So there is a lot of people that have SIBO that don't even know it. All they know is they get a lot of bloating. Okay. Now, most of the carbohydrates are broken down and absorbed into the small intestine, except fiber. It's fermented and dealt with in the large intestine with the help of the microbes. Stomach acid breaks down protein, but most of that protein is digested and absorbed through the small intestine as amino acids. And then you also have uh, fats that, with the help of bile and the pancreatic enzymes, it breaks down and it gets absorbed in the small intestine. Bile is stored in the gallbladder and it's released to help you digest fats. And it can increase your absorption of fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. They may also know that it helps to absorb omega-3 fatty acids. But what they don't know is this. Bile keeps the good bacteria in the right places. Bile is antimicrobial. It's a detergent that helps to break down the lipid or the fat layer around microbes, bacteria, both good and bad. So it helps to regulate bacteria. When bile is made by the liver, stored by the gallbladder, a lot of that bile travels to the entire small intestine okay, to help you absorb fats. And it gets reabsorbed in the last part. It's called the ileum. So the majority of bile, actually it's 95%, not 90, gets absorbed in the last part of the small intestine. Why is that? Because the body wants that bile to travel through the entire small intestine to regulate and make sure that you don't get SIBO, to keep the bacterial count low. And then when it gets to this last part, it gets reabsorbed back to the liver, and the whole cycle starts again. So the great majority of your bile is recycled. There's also the receptor for bile that then releases antimicrobials in the small intestine. Well, there's a lot of little things right here to keep the bacteria from going backwards through this valve, ileocecal valve, up into the small intestine. When people have SIBO, a lot of times they'll take uh, betaine hydrochloride or an acidifier, which makes sense because that acid will actually kill some of the bacteria. But the real reason why betaine hydrochloride helps SIBO is that it stimulates the release of bile that then makes it very uncomfortable for bacteria to live in the small intestine. Now, bile salts also seal up leaky gut. Very important to prevent autoimmune diseases. Bile salts decrease the motility of the small intestine. Why? Because we want to maximize the digestion and the absorption of nutrients in the small intestine as well as keeping the bile in the small intestine to make sure that we kill off all the bacteria. But then when it hits the large intestine, it increases the motility. Okay, So it's a little bit different in the small versus the large. If you take too much bile, you may find that you get diarrhea. So you would want to back off and just take smaller amounts. Bile is involved with regulating something called migrating motor complex. Now what is that? Well, when you fast for five to seven hours, you may feel that your, your stomach is gurgling or making sounds. You may actually feel it and hear it. Um, that is this right here. What's happening is you're getting this um, peristalsis, this pumping action that is pushing the undigested food and the debris through here into the large intestine. So it's helping clean out 
uh, bacteria and food particles in the small intestine. You can look at it as good housekeeping, but it only occurs if you're fasting, not consuming snacks through the day. If you have SIBO, it is vitally important to do fasting, number one, and number two, to take purified bile salts on an empty stomach, as well as betaine hydrochloride. I would also recommend taking oregano, a couple other things. I actually created a video on this a while ago. I'll put a link down below. And there are certain tests that you can do to determine if you have SIBO. Uh, I'll put some information down below on that as well. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back with another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.